Begin secure transmission. Good morning, 007. For the past three years, a high-ranking Russian general, Arkady Arumov, has been stealing Russian military equipment and selling it on the black market. We have reason to believe he's about to ship a cache of high-tech weapons to a terrorist organization that has been targeting our embassies. Along with Agent 006, your mission is to infiltrate his base of operations, destroy the weapons cache, and, if need be, eliminate General Orgamov. Agent 006 has already surveyed the facility. Time is of the essence, 007. An unmarked cargo plane is already en route due to pick up those weapons for the terrorists in 45 minutes. Do you copy? Confirm. We're in position. Good luck, James. MI6, out. Welcome to Russia. MI6 has given us the go ahead on the mission. Let's wait until the last truck passes. I'll take the guard on the left. You take the one on the right. Now, let's go. Nice work, James. Just like old times. You take the tower, but watch out for that sniper. I'll get the truck. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Gamers with Commentary. I'm your host, Dog Monkey, and bringing you the GoldenEye 007 Reloaded, a remake of the original Nintendo 64 GoldenEye game. This was one of my favorite games back in the day man I used to play this all the time and the multiplayer was just the best of all of them you get your friends together family just it was great times man so Activision not long ago decided to remake this and it's actually a Wii U game uh, my bad it's a Wii game but it got ported to Xbox 360 and the PS3 so it's not, it's a remake on the Wii, but it's a port. And of course, since Activision made it, you know, the same guys that made Call of Duty, it's a little bit like Call of Duty. Tower clear. See if you can find any extra firepower in there. All right, looks like they started to know that we're here Let's see what we got here sniper now I did play this game a long time ago all right he took care of him that's good heading to the bridge can you handle it I have to take care of these guys right here one two three come on there's always a tail guy in the back Oh, my aim is off right now. Come on, you can do something too, Alex. You're the one that shot and got them all started up. Down. Area clear. I'm moving to the truck. Moving to your location. Okay, so in this game, you can carry two secondary weapons, and you always keep the P99. So here have the sniper and then I switch back to the AK and then if you ever want to switch back to your pistol right away just double tap the Y so let's go over here 
And let's get this mission going. Nobody ever died being too careful. Words to live by. So how much do you know about Oromov? Only what I read in the dossier. But after the fall of the Soviet Union, he became jealous of the oligarchs. All their new money and went into business, freelancing for himself. Up ahead, the checkpoint. We're running six minutes behind. If anything goes wrong, be prepared to move. How's it Russian these days? Gags it there, Harry Shaw. Hey, T! We hold these groups of Ica. The chum problem is, Sergeant. Spets do Stalka is Moskvy. Piedmats minut, nikomu di gostia. Почему я никогда не видел тебя? Ты новый? Переведен. Давайте документы. Я сказал, выходи из грузовика. Let's get out of here, Alex. Yeah, here we go. So you can tell the Call of Duty makers made this. Because it's already different than... And I can't shoot. It's already different than the movie. I actually just watched the movie. Not long ago, I bought the entire collection of... All 23 movies on Blu-ray, and I went through and just started marathoning them. Look at that! It even has the classic. Takes like 20 shots to kill somebody. We got alarms ringing, everything, man. So much for stills, right? Goodbye, dude. Don't ever try to grab someone's gun. And of course, we gotta have that slow-mo explosion and roll around and fade to darkness. I mean, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. But it's just so funny that Activision is the same. They... Look! What the hell are they doing with one of those? We have the time. Let's go. Come on, James. Let's move! <laughs> there was a bullet hole in nowhere. What the hell is happening up there? Have you heard anything new? Niet. It's probably just another surprise inspection. Did you see that helicopter? Yeah. What of it? It looked EMP hardened, designed to survive an electromagnetic pulse. The blast from the weapons cache will take care of it. I'm getting a picture for MI6. Don't waste your time. You'll be late reaching the rendezvous point. Get on with it. I'll cover you. Oh, well, that was nicely done. If I do say so myself. Yeah, he would have pressed the alarm and then it would have been a lot harder. Not like there's bad guys already chasing us anyways. Stay alert. They are here somewhere. James, they pulled back. I'm moving out. Do we know how many there are? Yeah, nothing to worry about. Probably some locals trying to speed some supplies. Look at that James Bond style, baby. I remember the old James Bond games. You would get extra points for killing them 007 style. And that's by using the environment. You know, like the old movies. Like I said, I just watched all the movies. You know, obviously Sean Connery is my favorite James Bond of all. And, and the movies, you know, they're always doing some uh, like oh he shoots the chandelier or he shoots something and the guy dies you know that's so they interpreted that into the games and they would give you I forget what it was called but you get like 007 points or something like that what are they guarding? Well, they think they're gonna I'm gonna come up from 
I didn't think I was gonna come up through there, that's why. Well, knock knock. Yeah, that was a headshot. It's alright though. Anything upstairs? No? Okay. Yeah, it has been a long time since I played this game though. It was, it was fun when I played it. But you guys will see, like I was saying, Activision just... It's funny because... You know, it's a copy and paste formula. Make everything dramatic and explosions everywhere and it's like... This is an espionage movie, man. Well, I guess it does fit in line with the... With the Bond movies. Some of the... Some of the Bond movies, looking back at them... You know, it makes me laugh, and the guy is one of the worst spies ever, dude. He's always getting caught in every movie. You know, he does he does something cool, he does something awesome, he meets the bad guy, he gets caught by the bad guy, he rescues the, the girl, and then he ends up with the girl, and, <laughs> and then he ends up taking out the bad guy. But it's pretty much every movie right there, he gets taken out, he gets captured. It's like, come on, man, but everybody should know who Jace Bond is by now. Do this on every single, you know, criminal database or whatever. You guys are funny, man. See, they alert, but you gotta take them out real quick. And they didn't even see anything coming. Alright, let's move on with the mission, shall we? Well, that's bullshit, dude. Might as well just go all out. They already saw, they already saw me. Where are these guys? Oh, over there. Yeah, he's gonna walk through five bullets. There, finally, man. What? Where'd he go? So that was an epic fail on my part. Yeah, now they added the camera, so you gotta shoot those things. Have you found your precious helicopter yet, Bond? See, that's the thing about any stealth game because I remember playing Splinter Cell Blacklist and you just gotta have the quick reaction you know you're gonna get that half a second of oh my god we found them you just gotta react really quick okay just like that my aim was a little bit off I was trying it, every time you press the left trigger it automatically locks onto them and it's like in Call it not Call of Duty. It's like Grand Theft Auto, and I do the same in that game, Red Dead Redemption, where it because it automatically locks to the center mass. So all you gotta do is quickly put it up, or I press down because I play inverted, and then you can aim at their head. So it's pretty much like quick scoping, but not if that makes sense. I do like that since this is a reboot, they made it to where it's the Daniel Craig James Bond, which is the current James Bond right now. And so they have pretty much the same technology that he has available when to him. With your holiday snaps, Bond. Meet me at the rendezvous. 
We're running out of time. Not too bad. I didn't expect those guys there. Good shot, dog monkey. Why, right, thank you. Who's shooting me? Okay, dude. Let me reload this bad boy. James, I've created a little diversion to cover our exit. All right, so you see this right here? There's a little, every time the cell phone rings, there's these little things that you can do. And it's an extra objective. Seven. Now we'll see if your remarks had any other mysterious visitors. Okay. Wow, dude. Can I hit him? That's horrible. There, man. It's amazing how they can run and gun and hit me while they're sti while they're running. Is that one not? Oh, I don't think it has a scope. Oh, it does have the ammo. All right, let's... I'll get rid of the scope, actually. The thermal scope. As you can see, it already has different James, weapons as compared to the original GoldenEye. See, I thought that was one of those things, too. But it's not. Hey, guy that's just randomly looking in there. Sorry. I do miss the, the little karate chop that he used to always do. Goldeneye was fun, man, on 64. You go around and uh, you get the game shark. And you go around just slapping everybody. Russians might have invested in some 21st century transportation by now. I can't believe they didn't just see me. Nope, and those guys busted out. It's like they were waiting, dude. It's like, checkpoint, attack. Okay, dude, can I kill him? <laughs> Why did I blow up over there? Random stuff just blowing up, man. I believe there is a mode that you can play. It's 007 Classic. And it's just like the old 007 on 64 where your health doesn't regenerate. You have the little health bar. And you have to use the body armor. What was the music? 
Did I get discovered or something already? Let's move it, 007. I think we've outstayed our welcome. That's him? Okay, that's him. Here we go, guys. The classic moment. Get your hands in the air. Take off your parachute. Hand it over. Maybe you insist. Nice trick, doing it without a parachute. Trying to show me up? You said we were running late. Let's move. Hey, James. For England? For England, Alec. Always for England. <laughs> <laughs> 